Welcome to this next episode of YouTube. Uh, winter has finally arrived, and that means we have some snow, and we have some cold. Um, not normal northern Minnesota cold, uh, by any means. Maybe temperatures in the zero or single digits below zero. But enough to get wolves to be stimulated. And this footage was filmed from inside the auditorium viewing windows. And so you're seeing Aiden and Denali in a pretty social engagement, wrestling, um... In this clip, you're seeing actually Denali on top of Aiden, where Aiden's submitting to Denali, and Denali's doing a little bit of, of flea biting or kind of grooming behavior, and and um, Aiden's doing a submissive jab there, and certainly pretty social interactions between the two. Now, that's not always what goes on around here. As a matter of fact, we've had uh, in the last couple of days some fairly intense chasing uh, following behavior from Aiden towards Denali. But you can see here this isn't uh, agonistic by any means, and that was actually kind of a rub on chin, uh, rub on her chin, kind of a greeting there. And uh, Denali's tail is pretty high. But like I said, some days we start wolf care, and this is what we see. This is Aiden and Denali up in the tropes, and that's uh, Denali running from Aiden, and Aiden's t tail in a T2-tail posture, looking a little bit aggressive. But as we said, we've got some snow. Uh, we continue to use straw beds to keep them warm, although they've got a great winter coat and don't need it. This is more or less just to keep them kind of in a view of uh, the exhibit so they don't go inside the den uh, to get some resting. They rest right out in front. You actually hear Shadow and Malik in the background howling. These two are not necessarily as tuned in to Shadow Malik as they used to be, meaning that they just go about their business chasing each other even though Shadow Malik are howling. And the reality is Shadow Malik are probably howling because they're chasing each other. So uh, that's been something kind of interesting to uh, see that transformation, whereas months ago, every time Shadow howled, Aiden listened. And now they're getting a little bit more independent as they reach nearly four years of age. So again, that's Shadow Malik in the background with Grizzer joining in. The snow is maybe only about four inches, nothing compared to what some of the other parts of the country have had, and really not a typical northern Minnesota winter, but at least it's some cover and really makes for a great uh, picturesque view of these wolves as they blend into the forest and make it, even in captivity, sometimes hard to see. We are still getting a little bit of possessiveness, and this is, uh, you'll actually hear Aiden kind of come over and greet uh, the camera. And that has been keeping Denali away from Wolf Care staff a little bit more. We're not spending nearly as much time with Denali as we are with Aiden, and that's not by our choice, that's by Aiden's choice. So we're uh, trying to get as many opportunities for Denali, but Aiden's been guarding him, uh, guarding actually staff and, and kind of chasing uh, Denali away. Denali's doing no worse for wear, just the matter that uh, we, it's been our usual policy that we try to get a handle on every wolf, uh, physically check him out for any kind of abnormalities, and don't really care much for that not handling a wolf every day. Um, makes them sometimes a little excitable when we finally do get to handle them, but for the most part, Denali's dealing with it and whatever we can uh, we try to get Aiden focused with another wolf care staff and we move someone up on top of the hill that can come up and see Denali and, and that's actually what happened uh, while this was being filmed we uh, had two wolf care staff one down below with Aiden and then uh, Denali was watching for Aiden but then finally got up enough courage to come over and then spent you know several um Several minutes, actually, probably 15 to 20 minutes uh, alone with one of the wolf care staff, and that worked out pretty well. But you can see here healthy and definitely animals that have uh, good conformation, good coat conditions, good attitude, um, certainly getting along extremely well this winter. That was a growl from Aiden as he was keeping Denali away. So then we went over to Grizzer, and Grizzer, who's already kind of pre-charged by the fact that Aiden and Danelli have been chasing around, gets a little excited. So I uh, tried to film this, but he's a hard wolf to keep up with uh, as we're doing wolf care. We're cleaning up scat and taking some photos and doing some video, and he got a little excited. 
So for a wolf going on eight years of age, he's pretty spry. And again, that's a new pen design. We um, certainly really do like the opportunities that this enclosure design gives us, the multiple gate system so that we can move wolves around and, and use uh, wolves in holding in a wide variety. And Grizzard just likes the opportunity to run. Um, so having that space is a, a real benefit for him and having that den to climb um, gets him pretty active. And he's actually going back and forth up uh, towards the wolf lab where Oscar is and then back where wolf's ca care staff are. And, finally does settle down to the point where we can interact with him and um, check him out, but he's just excited. Just one of those feeling good kind of days. And another romper on the pen. And if you're wolf care staff, you got to be pretty steady on your feet. Um, conditions are icy and these wolves are moving pretty fast. He can knock you off if you don't watch out. Always enjoyable for us to watch this, the Grizzard 500. And uh, he's actually in better shape than he probably was when he was in the exhibit pack. He's, uh, um, don't see him panting nearly as hard as he's doing these runs like he did when he was a little bit younger. And then the wine is, again, just kind of gets on top of the den and he's watching for the other wolves. And most likely Aiden and Denali are running alongside the fence with them on the other side. And then in retirement, um, I have to apologize for the snow on the camera there. Malik uh, got a little bit too close and gave us a nose full of snow on the camera. So this is Malik. And one of the things that we do have a different relationship with, with each individual wolf. Um, Malik is usually a little bit more reserved, and Shadow is usually the one who gets most of the attention when we go into the retirement enclosure. But lately, Malik's been getting a lot more focused. And again, these two definitely are brothers, and these two have uh, similar behaviors. This is, again, watching for Oscar over in the lab. He was making some noise, and they're both checking it out. Shadow closest to the fence, Malik on the right. On the right. And then Malik is one of those animals that once he learns or once he has a positive experience with something, he likes to repeat it. And his positive experience has been taking hats. And so we have been watching Malik every time you got a spare glove or a hat that's not on very tight. Um, it will usually be in Malik's mouth and then running around the enclosure with it and certainly a um, joyful thing for him to do and something fun for us but definitely something that you want to keep close tabs on once a wolf has it you're lucky to get it back uh, as we said the older wolves um, as with all of our wolves here get a fresh uh, fresh bed of straw so that they can rest wherever they want to rest and keep those joints comfortable as they age there and this is actually Malik on top of the den usually a shadow but this is Malik on top of the den and we have been doing a little bit of a balancing act between Malik caches some deer legs in the den, doesn't keep, let Shadow in, so we have to move some deer legs out of there. Uh, but for the most part, I would say if there's a wolf on top of the den sleeping, it's probably Shadow. If there's a wolf in the den sleeping, it's probably Malik. That's a little bit different, but the, again, that's been some of the behavioral uh, changes that we've seen this fall is uh, with the feeding regime. Malik's been guarding in the den, caching in the den and guarding in the den quite a bit. And most of that was because of lack of snowfall, just nowhere else to cache in the, except in this fresh straw. So as we get a little bit more snowfall, hopefully that'll change. Now this is Shadow on top of the den. And just a nice picturesque background as he surveys um, everything going on in the wolf yard and in Grizzer's enclosure. And he can see actually over to the exhibit pack as well from the top of the pen there. If the wolves, if the exhibit pack's up on the hill, he can see kind of in there. But So that's about it. Um, we end with a clip from Oscar. We didn't have anything outside, so while we were doing this YouTube, we thought you'd show you what a dog does in the lab. And this is Oscar's bed, Oscar's fox that he got from Santa, and his tennis ball. So that's the life of a dog when he's off duty. So that's it for YouTube. Thanks for watching, and see you next week.